Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the SQL database coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link down below to the first video on the playlist. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, I'm going to databases, and then we left off. Uh, so under this regular paradise section we were starting, uh, regular paradise referring to regular expressions, I guess. And number 36, correct IPs. So the company you work for has a database with IP addresses of all the company's computers in it. When a new computer is purchased, an employee adds its IP4 address to its this database. Unfortunately, you just discovered there is no address validation, so some of the records are incorrect. Now your boss wants you to write a program that will find and retain only the correct records from this table. A record is correct if the IP it contains is a valid IP version 4 address and either the first or the second component in the host part is a two-digit number. The IP's table contains the following columns. So you've got ID, the unique ID of the computer, IP, the unique IP address of the computer. Your task is to create a table that contains only the correct records from the given IP's table. The table should be sorted by ID. So this is an example of the IPS table. So you've got an ID for the, the record and then the IP that's given. So normally an IP ad version 4 address will have uh, four different uh, sections separated by a period. And it could be uh, any number from 0 up to 255. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can validate this. So the output they want is just the ID and the IP. So you can just select star and then from the table IPS. And then you can use the regular expressions. So here uh, you can do, so the IP R link, uh, you can also use regx expression like that. They're both uh, synonyms. Um, so in this, this means this is the start of the regex expression, so you want it to start with that. This says uh, the characters have to be 0 through 9, and it can be 1 to 3 characters. And then this is an escape character um, because a, a the period is a special character that means any character of exactly 1. So you have to use the escape character if you want specifically the period. Um, and then we cr have that again, 0 through 9, 1 to 3, and then a period, and then 0 to 9. This time we have 2 to 3 because they specify uh, here either the first or second component in the host part is a two-digit number. So we put 2 to 3 here, and we also put an or and put uh, 2 to 3 in the uh, second expression. So these are both the same except for that that one change. So there will either be two characters in the second to last section or the last section which is the first and second part of the host. And then there's also this check of inet aton which will just return a value if it, it is a valid IP address. If it's not it will return null. So if we didn't have this specific thing of the first or second component in the host part of the two-digit number, all we would need was this. But because of that, we had to put this other stuff in there. Also, we need this because this reg expression could also evaluate to a non-IP address because you could have 999 dot blah 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 and 999 is not a valid number because it's it's greater than 255 so if we run the test and we just need to order that by ID and you can see that is the answer so I hope you guys are able to follow along with that and I hope I, you guys uh, join me for future sessions thank you very much